guys, Clyder here and welcome back to the Sims 4 Dine Out Challenge. So today, we are back at their house, which I have renovated, and Danny is fast asleep. It's actually midnight, I'm pretty sure, and wait up, what is happening here? Is someone awake? I'm pretty sure someone is awake. Oh no, what is going on here? Oh my gosh! So, as a lot of you probably already know, there has recently been a new update where there are monsters underneath the beds. How spooky is that? And poor Jordan has found out the hard way, I suppose. Looks like she can't go to sleep. She is feeling... A little bit scared of the monster right now. What does it say? What's that scary noise? It says something under the bed. I think we should investigate. She's very worried, but Jordan is a strong girl, very independent. No, she's not going to go into her mother's bedroom and bother her. She's going to investigate for herself. So, us to spray the monster under the bed. What? Talk to the monster under the bed. She's going to try to coax the monster either out of there or tell it to go away. I can imagine Jordan would be the type of girl who would tell it to go away. Oh no, look, she's trying to be friendly. Oh, oh. Oh my, oh my, I'm so scared for you. What's going on? I think she's provoked it. Uh oh, is she calling her Fluffy? Is its name Fluffy? Oh no, she's running away! What's going on? Mom! Mom! Mom, what's going on? What is she doing? Wake up! Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm so worried. There definitely is something underneath the bed! Danny, you have to save her! Save your daughter! She's going to definitely go and tell her mom us to spray the monster under the bed. Please, please spray it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I hope this doesn't make it angry! I'm really, really scared. I'm so scared. Look at her! Attack it! Yes! Yes, you attack that monster. Is it gone? It's gone! Yay! Look at that! That is awesome! Well, that was pretty easy. That wasn't a very scary monster. And look, it's morning now. I'm not sure if they even got a good night's sleep. They didn't really. I'm going to get her to... Oh no, it's morning! I'm pretty sure she has to go to school. <gasps> she does... Oh no, she has vacation days? No. No, she has class in two hours. I'm going to get her to quickly go back to sleep. And then I'm going to get Danny to... Wait up, serve mac and cheese. No, no, no. We're going to cook something up for her for breakfast. Serve breakfast. Let's do fruit salad. And while Jordan is sleeping in for a little bit, I just want to show you guys what I have changed in this house. So this is a lounge room now. We have some colorful chairs in here. And I really like how everything sort of mix and match and cute. I really like it, but it's also got a lot of beige and yellows, which is very warm and inviting. In the kitchen, it is very mint colored orientated. We got some colorful rugs on the ground. I think this is definitely a room that would suit Danny, that she would enjoy cooking in. We have the simple, just fixed up bathroom. It's basically the same as the original. Their bedroom, well this is Danny's room, very sunny and country style. I really like it and all of the little accessories. In here is Jordan's room, which you guys have already seen. It's very pink, purple, and adorable, just like her. Her bus is actually going to be coming in an hour we also have this cute little upstairs area I like to think it as a sunroom and the bathroom is basically the same too let's get Jordan to wake up and get some of this fruit salad before she goes to school I'm really worried that she's going to miss the bus and we should also get her to go to the toilet afterwards so hopefully we'll have enough time to do all of that it's only 7.30, so really hoping we do. Going to get her mom to sit down, eat with her, 
And look, they're having a yummy breakfast. Yummy, healthy breakfast together in their new home. Yay! Nelly, time for Jordan to go! Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay. She's not gonna be able to eat at all, so let's get her to go to the toilet quickly. Go quickly! Toilet, toilet! Go, go, go! You gotta go! You're gonna be late! Uh, she'll be fine, she'll be fine. Look at all of the neighbors' kids going. They're going to school also, and then while Jordan is at school, we're going to get Danny to head on off to the restaurant, but first I might get her to have a shower and just deal with her needs. Well, it looks like she is all ready to go. All of her needs are pretty much good. Let's go and open. Oh, whoops! We opened the wrong one! No, 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 we need to open the lemon squeezy. I still need to sell the rustic one. Let's go and open this. And now we're going to travel on over there and see what's going on. It is just about to be 10 a.m. and... Whoa, there's already people in here. What? There's already a lot of people, so it looks like we can actually have the cafe running without us being there. I'm really, really into that. That is awesome. Let's do welcome. Let's welcome everyone. We're the owners. We don't always have to be here. I'm actually blown away by that. That's awesome. One thing I really didn't like about some of the stores that you can have in Get to Work was you always, always had to be there. You had to be wandering around. I kind of didn't understand the point of having employees if I always had to be there, you know? Like, the owners aren't always there. Let's go and give some of these people some training. Manage George, promote, um, pay for training. This is what we want to do. I'm going to try to train up all of the workers and we might aim on getting another chef. Because last episode, some of the people actually left because they were waiting for the food way too long. So that was a little bit bad. And you guys commented on the last episode that I was very clueless. And I do apologize for that. Uh, I, it was my first time running a restaurant. It was all live. So hopefully this time we won't be as bad and I'll know a lot more about it and we'll have a lot more customers, hopefully. You guys also mentioned that I can get Danny to put up some of her skills. So I might get her to practice speech instead of just reading a book or something or just lazing around. It might be good if she's really charismatic and then she can welcome the customers and clientele a lot better and oh no apparently she can't access that. Well let's go into build mode, get her a actual mirror that she can use. Which one should we get? Oh this one's nice. We could just like put it somewhere. There we go. I found a spot for it. That is perfect. I also want to mention that you guys were a little bit taken away by the color choice I decided in my restaurant. And I just want to mention that I play The Sims a little bit differently to other people. I like it to be really colorful and cartoony. I feel like The Sims 4 was meant to be a bit more cartoony than the last games in the franchise, so I really, really like taking charge of that, using a little bit of CC, of course, but I do understand if you guys think it's a little bit of a shock, especially when um, some other content creators use a lot more subtle tones in their builds. I'm a little bit different. My name is Collider, if you guys don't know, which means I love rainbow colors and all things that are weird and eccentric, so that is what you have to expect in my series. I hope you guys don't mind, but that is me. That is me, and I'm not going to just change my build because you guys think it's a little bit out there. Like, that is what life is about. Being different and not being afraid to be different. So let's get Danny to work on her charisma, but first, I think she should pick up this bin, which one of our workers, I think it was Selena, kicked over last episode. Oh man, I was so disappointed in her. Look how adorable she looks with her yellow hair and the yellow shoes and the shirt. What did they have for lunch? Well, breakfast really. Ooh, uh, I don't know what that is like. 
something what is that what is that it looks so weird butternut knocky thanks so much to everyone who was helping me with pronunciation in the comments i really appreciate it i have no idea how to pronounce some certain names of different foods because i kind of grew up not eating a wide range of different types of foods unfortunately i grew up in a very small town where we only had like two chinese restaurants and we didn't have an Italian restaurant. I think we had one pizza. That's like the closest Italian place we had. And that was it. We had like a couple taverns. That was it. That was it. I never really experienced other foods. So that's why I don't really know the names of things. And I'm really sorry for that. Really hope they enjoy. Looks like some of those girls over there got some wine too. Very nice. Oh, I think that's a shepherd's pie. Oh my gosh. I really, really want to make shepherd's pie. I'm so hungry right now. It's nearly dinner time right now that I'm recording this. And I haven't eaten since lunchtime. I don't really snack during the day. I just like to have big like main meals and oh my gosh shepherd's pie would be so good right now i make a really yummy vegan shepherd's pie guys like i know you, you probably don't believe me but vegan shepherd's pie is damn good it is so good oh so we have some people coming in cool who is this nancy landgrab welcome to the lemon squeezy cafe I hope you like it here. Oh, no, no, no. This guy's got two stars. Let's do friendly introduction. Say hello. Uh, let's do check on table. I really want to get his star. Oh, look. Oh, look. Three. We got three stars. He changed it himself. Cool. And how is our chef going? Please don't. But no. Don't you dare burn things. Okay. I think she has fixed the issue, whatever it was. She's timing it carefully. Oh man, she looks tired. <laughs> she looks very worn out. It's not that bad working here, is it? It's meant to be a relaxed environment, you know? Oh, what did she just say? I'm um, just checking in to make sure you're getting the service you need. I hope everything is all right, sir. He looks pretty happy. He does too. She just walked away while he was still talking. Oh my gosh! Four stars! They're leaving! They just finished eating with four stars! Yes! <gasps> They're glowing! Oh my gosh, yay! Oh, her name is Selena. I'm definitely going to go and tell her, um, well done. So manage Selena, praise because she has been doing wonderful today. She had a little bit of a bad day in the last episode, but she seems to have picked it up, taken Danny's criticism, not to heart, but constructively. So that's pretty good. Let's do a practice speech for Danny because she's going to be talking to a lot of people. Hopefully Selena will get those plates. Yep, she is awesome. We haven't had a big lot of people come in yet. Which is alright. Oh, by the way, uh, Jordan might be coming home soon. It's nearly 3 p.m. So we'll get her to come back here and she can do her homework until the store closes. I really, really love how restaurants work in The Sims 4. So far, it is just so much less stressful than running a normal retail store, I believe. Let me know what you guys think of that down below. If you like retail stores more or if you like restaurants, I feel like restaurants are just like a huge improvement. Oh, look, they got their food. <gasps> Yay, and their drinks. Cool, he got a latte, pancakes, and she got a quiche from the looks of that. Jordan is back home. No need to make room on the refrigerator door. Her work is nearly satisfactory. Oh, okay, well... Um, I'm going to get her to come here. How do I do that? Bring Jordan here. Okay, we're going to get her to come here. And where is her homework? Do your homework, girly. Oh, no. She didn't have a good day. She's very tired. Oh, no. Poor Jordan. Well, at least you look cute. I love that little piggy. Piggy t-shirt she's wearing. Oh, she's so sad. Well, she's going to sit in the sun. This is like her absolute favorite spot. Just like sitting in the boss chair, watching the customers come in, leave, 
Oh, yeah. I really hope these guys have a great time. Oh, oh, oh. They're leaving. They're leaving. Um, let's do... <gasps> they just paid, I think. Check on table, comp food, give table free dessert. We can do that? We can do that? I didn't know. Oh, those guys left. I'm pretty sure they left us with three stars, which is... All right, that's okay. Well, people oh, seem to be really liking the atmosphere here, so I'm really glad that at least that is working. I know you guys, some of you guys don't like the interior design, but everyone else seems to be okay with it. Look at these guys. Oh, they're really loving the little lounge area here. I'm so glad that people are actually using it to sit down and eat have a little bit of a quiet like morning tea or afternoon tea. Jordan finished her homework. Awesome. Well, I'm going to get her to have a little bit of a nap here. I might end up adding a toy room upstairs here for her. I think that would be awesome. I might do that in the next episode. Let me know if you guys would like that. And we might include a bed for her because I feel a little bit bad that she's like sleeping on the back porch, but it's kind of like the only area that she's not going to be in the way. These guys have got four stars. Cool. I'm going to get Danny to prioritize the table because they sat in here first. Oh, their food is coming. Cool. Wow, they really, really must love the atmosphere here if they got four stars already. Really hope you enjoy your meal. Oh, wow, look at his face. He's like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Well, we're going to do dinner until 9 o'clock, I think. I was thinking of closing at 5, but this isn't a retail store. Let's go and see these guys. They're checking on the min menu, actually, so I might leave them to it. Let's go check on this table. Oh, gosh, this guy's got two stars, but I guess he's only just arrived. Oh, no, Jordan. I'm so sorry. She's hungry. She needs a shower. She's super tired. Oh no, have a quick meal. Let's get her to microwave a pastry. Oh, I feel terrible. I totally forgot about you, sweetie. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's so tired. Oh no, I feel terrible. Uh, I'm going to get Danny to move away from everyone now. I think she'll have a rest out here where Jordan was. Just have a little bit of a nap. Oh man, I feel so bad they didn't get a good night's sleep because of that darn monster under the bed. I think they're going to be a little bit pesky and a bit of a humbug to deal with. Oh, look how happy everyone is. I hope we get four stars. Oh, look! Four stars. Oh! She took a photo of her food! That was so cute! Oh, I love it. I love this so much. Yay, what did they get? They got some lasagna and salad. Got some drinks too. Um, Selena, have you talked to these guys? I'm not sure. Oh. oh, wow, she really liked it that she took another photo of an empty plate. Yes, four stars. Awesome. That is what I want to see. It is eight o'clock. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Disallow new customers. There we go. There we go. Uh, request table. I don't think we need to do that. And can we go and praise George? I think we should definitely do that. Get her to wake up. She's the owner. Even though she's tired, she's got to go and praise them. Everyone's got their meals out here. Awesome. Oh, George is doing okay. Sweet. That's good. Did she burn her pastry? Oh, she's having dessert for dinner. Oh, that's very healthy. <laughs> that is so healthy. What I might actually do is get Daddy to cook some food at home and then she'll put it in her inventory and bring it with her to work. So then they have stuff to eat. Oh, we got a rating increase. We're now three out of five stars. Awesome. They must have had four stars too. Thank you for coming to the cafe to Lemon Squeezy. Goodbye. Oh gosh, she is walking around like a zombie. Well, all of that hard work is paid off most definitely. Well, we actually don't know yet. Selena is starting to feel, what? I'm tired. Okay, um, I'm going to get her to probably stop now. It's 9.35, so it would be a good time to get everyone to leave. 
Oh, Amelia Knoll is starting to get tired. Oh no, guys. Well, I'm just about to close the restaurant. So don't feel too bad. We've done amazing. There we go. Let's close it up. <gasps> yes, we got three stars now. Awesome. It's been a great day. We also got $332. I think that's like over double to last time. Customer reviews, meal quality is good, service is good, and ambience is awesome. Yay! Awesome! And look, these guys are all getting their skills up. Wow, it's been a fantastic day. I'm really, really happy. Well, guys, I'm super duper happy with what we have achieved with the restaurant this episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you guys have any suggestions or any comments that you would like to leave, please let me know because I am still sort of new to learning stuff about this game pack and I know you guys would have played it on your own or watched other people so if you have any tips and stuff I would love to know. I'm pretty sure that we're going to aim to get to five stars um, in this mini series so five stars and then we'll be done with this challenge but I have a great announcement to make. This is actually going to be in the Smitten world. So this won't be the last of Danny and Jordan. You will be seeing them in a future LP called Smitten, which was actually quite popular on my channel. I am actually working on bringing it back. So yeah, afterwards, this series will be just sort of merged into Smitten. So don't worry about these guys. You are going to see them again. But for now, we're just going to focus on getting their restaurant up to par, up to those five stars. Alrighty, well, I'm going to let you all go now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!